Kim, your problem is that you really want to be a white girl. Let's just get down to the point. Jocelyn! No, 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 Professor. Let's get down to the point. Jocelyn. Your problem is that you really don't even want to be black. She's conflicted with her blackness. See, when I was growing up, I chose to be black. I was. Hey, calling me no motherfucking nigga. She go? Oh, you ain't black. Anybody Where black up hey. in this bitch? Y'all call me niggas all day if you want to. But I don't give a fuck if you got a slither of melanin in you. If your mama not black and your daddy not black, if you come out your mouth and ever decide to call me a nigga or anybody else on this cast, I'm gonna make you swallow your motherfucking teeth. And I want God and my motherfucking ancestors to take me out this bitch right now if I'm lying. Period. One thing I must say I love about y'all is y'all the only people on the planet that can call us the N-word and get away with it. That's right. Mexicans are the only people on the planet that can call black people the N-word and get away with it because y'all say it right. Like you in the hood, you see your essay homies, you're like, hey, what's up, essay? They say, hey, what's up, my nigga? You be like, okay, cool, that shit was right, dude. He said that shit right. Huh? When it comes to the the, the OGs. Okay, yeah, and let's this, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Particularly like in like within like so it's like the younger generation is cool with like terms like niggas and shit like that. So the older generation, that's like a big, big district. OG, OG vatos, they're not fucking with that. So look. People seem to have a problem with you saying nigga. Because they say a Mexican should not be using the word Bro, nigga. who gonna stop me? Who? So when you say niggas, what does that mean to you? It's the way I grew up. It's my culture. It's, I grew up in Bushwick, Brooklyn. It's my, it's my vocabulary. It's the way I talk. Yep. I ain't like these other battle rappers, they talk too much. Saying I can't use the N-word in this battle. My nigga, I just call it whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what's no. up, nigga? Why would you want to say it? It's derogatory. Why would you want to say it? Well, black people say it. That's what most people are going to say. Black. Should we call Mexican people a derogatory word? That's not fair. No. But you know, you travel, you go through different areas. Have you ever been in this situation? What happened? Yeah, Chicago, Chicago. Chicago, they they don't they don't really have Puerto Ricans in Chicago. They got Mexicans. You know, mm -hmm. I go up there and I battle, and I'm saying the N word, and they all like, "Yo, dog, who you?" The people who criticize the N word in rap to me really are people who don't even like hip hop music like that, right? And then the N word in rap, all my life since I grew up, has just been a word, a term of endearment where people just be like, you know, I mean, let's not lie about it. Right. You know, something on Hey, all day, love, you know, all day, right? It's all day, everybody was something on So somehow it became some, a, a way to embrace each other. So like, and then they say, you know, you know, they, they, they say that, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I use it all the time. I feel like I'm that nigga. It's the thing, right? Some Puerto Ricans will actually say they are niggas. And if you let them tell it, they 50-50 on a word nigga. Like, you can't tell them they're not black. It's easy to say you're, you're a nigga, but life don't reflect negativity on you. See, look, 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 see, see. Let's say life was a video game, right? And the white people design a the game. They know all the cheat codes. They know, got on easy mode. That's what being an elite white person is. They design the game. You have white people who got on easy, easy mode. But you know, they got a little less cheat codes, right? You have a lower class white person who plays the game on normal. It's normal. He he, he had no cheat codes, but he's normal, right? Then you have uh Latino, Indian, the buffer class people who, who you know, let's say let's say let's say you get the buffer class people, the Asians, right? They can just play the game on, on on little difficult, but you know, they have a few combinations and shit. They know a few combinations. Then you got the Latinos and everybody else who who, who play the game game on 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 very difficult, right? But then you have the Black American who play the game on impossible with no cheat codes, no nothing. We just playing the game on impossible that we we could barely fucking get to level two. That's what we got. So to say we on the same level is is just you playing the game at your level, but you don't really know what, what difficulty I'm playing in. You assume we on the same level. You assume we the same, but we really not the same. Cause I'm good at the game. Even even though it's difficult, I'm still good at it though. See, y'all not good at the game and y'all playing on y'all levels. See, y'all playing, y'all playing on y'all easy levels or, or difficult levels, and y'all not good at it. But I'm good at playing 
on an impossible level. So it looks like we're on the same level, but now nah, I have more setbacks and obstacles than you do. I'm just good at doing what I'm doing. And that's what being black is. But our shit is damn near impossible for us to play this game. So y'all can say y'all on that level. Y'all can say y'all niggas, but your difficulties ain't our difficulties. It ain't the same. Saying something is not being something. Proximity is not being something. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta identify what you wanna identify. Nigga, you have women identifying as men. You have men identifying as women. Shit, you can, you can identify as anything. This is the area to identify as anything. But the reality situation is identifying as black or as a nigga doesn't make you black or a nigga. See, the problem is y'all think nigga is just, it's just a word. It's just a word of endearment. It just, it don't mean nothing. See, but y'all stupid because words come from places. Words have meaning. Words have a, Etymology, you know what I'm saying? See, even though we say nigga, it's our word to say. They call it, they ain't call y'all niggas why they told y'all to drink from different water fountains. They ain't call y'all niggas why they whipped y'all with slaves. They ain't call y'all niggas why they fed your babies and alligators. They ain't call y'all niggas like they called us niggas when they bombed our Tulsa, Oklahoma. Like when they bombed Philadelphia back in 84, 85. They ain't call y'all niggas when they was massacring us back to back to back from different cities from Chicago to New York to um, South Carolina to Wilmington to, to New Orleans. We had so many massacres. They ain't call y'all niggas when they was poisoning y'all food and y'all water when they mass incarcerated us. They ain't have Latino laws. They have black laws, black codes, pig laws that was targeted to black Americans. Some of y'all was casualties of war. Some of y'all, you know I'm saying, but for the most part, y'all could have passed as white. Y'all could, y'all, that word is tied to a history, a long history and a lot of pain and a lot of blood that y'all have no connection to. So to y'all, it's, it's just saying nigga, but it's really disrespectful. I'm gonna I'm go further to say it's just it's disrespectful for, for us to even say that I'm thinking about it, but that's in house shit. Y'all not in the house. Y'all don't have no right. Y'all have no connection to this word. No one gave y'all, y'all wasn't born with the right to say the word nigga. Y'all ain't got the lineage, the blood, the struggle, the strife, the pain, the survival tactics to even bear that word. Y'all not strong enough to even have that word. That word don't, y'all don't qualify to wear that word at all. Y'all not, y'all ain't vent the inventions. Y'all ain't do the creations. Y'all didn't bear the pain. Y'all didn't do the running, the escaping, the fighting. Y'all ain't do the marching, the protesting. Y'all ain't do nothing to, to wear that word. That word is too big for y'all to wear. They call Martin Luther King, nigga. They call MLK, nigga. They call Mega Evers, nigga. There is nobody from your society to fit those shoes to be called nigga. We should stop calling Latinos nigga and everybody's niggas. They ain't worthy to even be called nigga. These are fake niggas, if anything. There is no reason for these people to share our words if they ain't want to share our meaning. They don't fit the meaning of the word nigga. Their grandmothers wasn't called nigga. Their grandfathers didn't say nigga. These people are not niggas. How do we allow them to even have a, a voice in this conversation anyway? That's what I'm getting at. We don't go around calling these motherfuckers spicks, but yet they every day, every second, they calling us niggas every second and, we, and when they call us nigga we still don't say spick in return we still don't give them the same energy like, like we did so much in this country that they have did barely anything all they ever did was bring cocaine in cause havoc sneak into the country um cartels colombian cartels mexican cartels dominican cartels these people did so much negative shit into this country for them to act like we the same they didn't have to go through underground railroads. They ain't have to go in the swamp. They ain't see, they ain't get their land stolen here. They ain't get firebomb. They ain't have to run from dogs, get bit by dogs, get water holes down. They ain't have peaceful, peaceful protests. They ain't have the rights until later, but this should be going on hundreds of years before they came here. So for them to have a pen to say, nigga, I would never call a Puerto Rican nigga, a nigga again. They are not worthy to be called niggas. Think, think about it. Think about how strong you gotta be to be a nigga in America. Think about how strong you gotta be and think about, how, think about how strong they are not. Think about how unworthy they're not to be called the word nigga. Think about it. Think about why do they value that term, that word nigga? Because it's a, it's a value in it. See, we see our stuff as strength, is love, is love in it. They wanna feel the love, the warmth that, the only, that, that come from the black American diaspora because they don't have a Muslim stuff. They don't have an equivalent word to nigga. So they need our word nigga. Think about it. They don't, it's nothing equivalent in no language to the word nigga. But they're amigo, what the fuck they, I mean, there is nothing like it. There, there is nobody on the planet like the American nigga. We persevered more than anybody. We prospered more than anybody. Nigga, we invented, created to the world more than anybody. A nigga is like a status if you won't think about it, come to think about it. If you can survive war, you get a purple heart. The word nigga is a purple heart. 
why are we letting others get our fucking medals? These people are not worthy. None of them are worthy to be called niggas. Not a Mexican, not a Puerto Rican, not any of them niggas. Not, not no white boy, not no mulatto. None of these are niggas. None of these suburban people, none of these people from middle class, none of these people are worthy of naked. Not a Caribbean, not an African, not a UK Brit. None of these people are worthy to use the word nigga because niggas stay in a country. Niggas fight for rights. Niggas entrepreneur. Niggas invent. Niggas create. Niggas, niggas persevere. You know what I'm saying? Niggas ain't flee their country. Niggas ain't, ain't undermine other cultures. Niggas don't piggyback of other cultures. Niggas don't dick ride. Niggas don't. Niggas don't feel entitled to have opinions about things that don't concern them. Niggas are not in other people's business. Niggas don't copy or make other people. You know what I'm saying? Niggas got contribution. Niggas made history. Niggas are heroic. Niggas are heroes. Niggas have humanity. Niggas don't go to other people countries and disrespect the people there. Niggas don't go to other people countries and, and try to be them or claim their history. Niggas don't go to other countries and pretend that they're better when they fled their country. Niggas don't ride other people's coattails. We do our own thing. We create our own thing. We make our own lane. No one gives to us. We don't feel that we can attach to other people's culture. We don't feel that other people cultures owe us. We don't feel that other countries owe us. That's the difference. We don't, we don't pay attention to other people. We don't care enough to comment and make views and make content about other people. That's what they do about us. That's why these ain't niggas. These niggas just want to be niggas. And they can never be niggas. They feel the right that they can disrespect black Americans and not be disrespected or we supposed to accept that as normal. Saying nigga and not being black American is not normal. It's an abnormality. We had it just as hard as anybody in any other country and we stayed here. We've been massacred. We've been slaves. We've been tortured. We've been left out. We've been neglected. We propagandized as negative. We've been stereotyped, but we still here. We don't flee and go amongst other people and use their resources. You know, we stay under worst conditions most people fled in. Nigga, most people never been slaves. Most people never been bombed. Most people never been hung. Most people never been hunted. Most people never had a KKK, been terrorized by police. Most people never been, been left out of their country. Most people never been discriminated against. Most people never felt racism in their countries. Nigga, we did all that staying here, and we never fled amongst nobody. People who look down on us, use our culture, come amongst us, and they feel that they could put their noses down on us, but as they mimic us, as they take our culture, as they use our terms, nigga, nah, that's not how it works. That's why none of y'all are worthy to use the word nigga because y'all don't have the honor that comes with the word nigga. Niggas, it's not just a word. It's a lot that come with a word that y'all don't share. It's a cultural word. It's a, it's a, it's a cultural word. And we're not obligated to share none of our culture with y'all. Not, not one thing in our culture we're obligated to share or accept. That's what y'all feel to realize. Nigga, our culture is not American culture. Our culture is our culture. It's just happen. America adapts and takes on our culture. But nigga, we don't owe y'all. We don't owe y'all culture membership. Y'all not members of our culture. But y'all feel y'all could pillage, take, borrow, sample, loop all our shit. And it's supposed to be cool like that. It is not. It never was. And that shit has to stop now. I'm not just talking about white people and Latinos. That includes Africans and Caribbeans. Y'all are not our culture. So when y'all use our culture, y'all are two culture vultures. Understand that. Y'all have your own culture. Don't take from ours. Don't borrow. Nigga, y'all be y'all while we be us. The N-word is not your word. The N-word is part, it's, it's not part of your culture. Yes, it's derogatory, but we, nigga, we turn, only we can take things that's negative and make it positive. These people ain't worthy of the word nigga, so why we allow these people to say anything? Think about it. Not, not one of these. That's why they want it so bad, because it means so much to them. To us, it's just, it's just we constantly creating and doing things. We don't pay nobody no mind, but notice they all paying us mind. They're always in our culture, in our business, in our proximity. None of them are worthy. If they can't talk about it, they don't have nothing to talk about. They can't copy us. A lot of them will be, won't be famous. A lot of them won't have jobs in the industry. A lot of them won't have ideas or nothing. Nigga, we inside a blueprint to everything, a blueprint for civil rights, a blueprint to, um, politics we the blueprint education in this country we the blueprint of everything for these immigrant people because they all immigrants whether they're legal citizens or not that we are the blueprint so when we take everything we could so so it's so it's less of a fight for a word it's a fight for their attachment they needed to be attached they need to be attached to us nigga lets them feel like we have a, a, a camaraderie like we have a we have a connection we have a bond but that's not, the word nigga is not for them. It's for me and you. It's for us. That's a us thing. And they're not like us. Welcome back. The big
Red Bat Podcast. I'm your host. So, I got a request from my man Justin. I know Justin says I'm saying middle school, shared it. And he posed a question to me on Facebook. He said, her. Did we go over Puerto Rican saying nigga? Now I'm seeing niggas saying Puerto Ricans can't say nigga no more. He like, yo, break it down to me, but now I'm here. So I said, fuck it. I'll do a podcast about it. He said, all right. So I'm getting to it. Who can say the word nigga, right? My opinion is not universal. I don't speak for everybody in every neighborhood. But I'm going to try to generalize this, right? The word nigga is specifically for black Americans. And it's for a certain class of black Americans. Because all black Americans don't say the word nigga. Like certain people can't, can't say nigga in their household. Certain class, certain calibers of people. You have a bourgeoisie class, a middle class people. Usually people in the suburbs. They don't say it like that unless they want to feel, you know, spicy and, and shock their white friends and shit. But usually people in the suburbs, they don't, they don't, white people, they don't they grow up like that. The word nigga is a cultural thing. It's a street thing, right? It's a hood thing. Puerto Ricans grew up in the prox- proximity of some black Americans. Not all. Only a few people in a few neighborhoods in a few cities in a few states grew up with Puerto Ricans and know what Puerto Ricans is. Like, I got a cousin in California. He never seen a Puerto Rican before. I got family down south. They never, never seen a Puerto Rican before. You know what I'm saying? But just the neighborhoods on the east side. He's from, he from, he from the G. That's one project on the east side of New Haven. I'm from the west side. I'm from the manor. And the manor has, you know, Rothfield, Brookside, you know, West Hills. Those four projects on the west side, he's from the G. That's more near the G and the islands, like Fairhaven projects, right? Now, where I'm from, there was like one Puerto Rican family. Maybe there was two Puerto Rican families in my projects. Um, Brookside, I don't I don't know. Maybe two in Brookside, and I don't know too many that's in Rafi, right? So let's say five families out of like 300 families, right? Now, when I, when I grew up, Puerto Rican was a white boy. I thought Puerto Rican was Russian. I mean, also, I knew like he, the motherfucker spoke funny. The first, white, the first Puerto Rican I met, his name was Wilson. It was in kindergarten. I thought he was a Russian. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't know what the fuck he was speaking. Was, and I watched Rocky, and they, they talk different. So I assume, okay, he, the white boy from Rocky talk different. This white boy right here talk different. So he must be a Russian. He kept telling me I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. Can't tell you, you can't tell shit to a four-year-old or five-year-old what the fuck a Puerto Rican is. Nigga, you, okay, you Puerto Rican, Russian, whatever. But then, you know, I met, I met Cabito. Cabito's from my hood. Me and him, we was cool. He, he grew up, like I'm saying, around the corner from me and shit. He was a cool Puerto Rican. I thought he was white too, though. And, um, but they never, like, dealt with us in a project. They was, we was cool with him, but they, like, moved other places. And um, then one time I went to, later on in life, I went to Webster Projects with my nigga Tom. This nigga took me to, like, the, the 15th floor. We was, these niggas black and me, like, African black. And they was speaking funny. So I assumed they was African. So I'm like, yo, where you Africans from? They was like, who the fuck is African? I said, yeah, they speaking all funny. And she said, nigga, we Puerto Rican. I said, nigga, you ain't Puerto Rican. I'm from New Haven. I've been in Fairhaven. I know a Puerto Rican when I see one. And they just laughed at me and shit like, nah, nigga, we, we Boricua. See that flag? I'm like, I ain't know Puerto Rico had Africans. He said, nigga, we not Africans. Nigga, we are Puerto Ricans. We Boricua, Bobby. We, 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 we Boricua. And I was just like, I left that shit going. I ain't no fucking, I ain't no Puerto Ricans had Africans in it. I was 17 at the time. Like, that shit blew my mind. I didn't, this before I kind of like, you know, know about the slave trade and Puerto Ricans. And, and I assume all Puerto Ricans was white. I was like, these motherfuckers, are Puerto Ricans got fucking Africans. And who, who the fuck would have knew? These niggas, I talking about blue black ass Africans. Like, anyway, let's get back to the story. Like, I ain't know, know the history of no, you know what I'm saying? There was white people to me. They never said the N-word growing up. Now, Justin grew up on the, on, on the east side, Fairhaven. It's more Puerto Ricans. It's more of a mix. They, they more in proximity. Like New York City, people grew up amongst Puerto Ricans. So, you know, we from the 80s, so we grew up in the hip-hop culture. So the music gives everybody a pass to say the N-word, basically. If, 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 if you saying rap music, you're going to say the N-word. If you watch hood movies, you're going to see niggas saying the N-word. If, if, so if you connect with the culture, not saying you of the culture, because Puerto Ricans are not of our culture. They have their own culture. But they take to our culture. They adopt our culture. They wear our culture. They, um, you know, appropriate our culture. Good and bad. You know what I'm it, it depends on who you are. Can't speak for everybody because all Puerto Ricans don't say nigga. Like all Latinos don't say nigga. Like maybe Puerto Ricans might say nigga more than Mexicans do. Or Puerto Ricans definitely say nigga more than, you know, Peruvians or Argentinas. All Latinos don't say nigga. 
But if a Puerto Rican say it, they might say, okay, I'm Puerto Rican, I can say nigga, but I'm Latino. They could lend that what appears to be, you know, a nigga pass to like the whole Latino community. Because people think blacks and, and, and Latinos grew up together. That's not true. We didn't grow up with Latinos. Like in California, they might have grew up with some Mexicans. On the East Coast, we grew up with Puerto Ricans and some Dominicans. I didn't grow up with Dominicans in Connecticut. We had Puerto Ricans. But New York City got Dominicans. Now Dominicans are moving in. So it fluctuates. When I had a cocaine connect, he was Dominican. He didn't say nigga, but I seen him so much we got familiar. And I opened the nigga door. What up, my nigga? How you doing, nigga? You hear that? I'm saying I was calling him nigga. So if I'm calling him nigga, which we all do, we have a bad habit of opening that nigga door for other people and we discuss we accepting them because for us nigga is a normal term we use that shit effortlessly i'm saying like my mom say nigga my, my father say nigga like my grandparents say nigga that's part of our culture but i see it like this some people who grew up with black people they can say nigga amongst their peers amongst that group but that nigga past isn't universal and this is where the confusion gets in. Because a Puerto Rican might grow up with black people. He might think these black people let him say nigga. They might think all black people might let him say nigga. And that's not true. That can get the ass whooped. Like, I used to fight Puerto Ricans. Like, when I was talking about the juvenile and shit like that. Because I thought, I thought there was white boys. When they said it, I was on the ass. Simple. Like, nigga, y'all can't say it. As I got older, I seen people at, reacting with them. Puerto Ricans kind of became, like, you know, kind of became, okay, they cool, they cool. Some, but then you still have racist Puerto Ricans too. See, a Puerto Rican can say nigga, but they can say the hard R too, because Puerto Ricans are mostly white people. You barely see a dark Puerto Rican. I'll get to that later. But for the most part, Puerto Ricans are cool, are cool and they do relate to us, and they do kind of fuck with us. We do kind of fuck their bitches. They don't fuck our bitches too much, but you know what I'm saying? But, but, but they do embrace our music. They do embrace hip hop. We did go to school with them. So we with them. Some of us got money with them. Like I got a boy named, like I don't have a nigga named Hove, but my older niggas got a nigga named Hove. Puerto Rican dude named Hove. Hove is straight but equal. But he amongst us, that nigga is a, he, he's a nigga. He's a nigga. So it's exception to the rule. We pick and choose who we allow to say nigga, right? Hove might think he get a pass, but see Hove kind of look like a nigga though. So let's say Hove was like a white Latino, it was dark or, or lighter Latino. He might think it's okay for him to say nigga somewhere in Alabama. They ain't playing that shit in Alabama. They ain't playing that shit in Greensboro. Like in the South, there's not that many Puerto Ricans. You know what I'm saying? They don't know what Puerto Rican is. So that might get him caught up. He might, he might get killed for that shit because people ain't playing that. These people who shouldn't say nigga. People shouldn't say nigga if they ain't grow up in their household saying nigga, right? People shouldn't say nigga if they can't say it amongst your parents or your grandparents. I got a white boy named Buck. I met him in job called Buck was from Maine. Maine. Maybe New Jersey a little bit, but he's Buck's from Maine. Buck was a straight redneck, kind of like a lumberjack type dude. I met him at Job Corps. We clicked instantly. I gave him his first bed winch, right? I had Buck selling crack. I had Buck in, you know what I'm saying? I had Buck in my projects. I had, Buck was my boy. My, my, my niggas got cool with him. My cousin got cool with him. He got stories. Buck is my nigga. Buck got black kids now. I gave him his first bed winch. So, so Buck says nigga. Like, he says nigga amongst me. I'm comfortable with him. But just because I'm comfortable with him doesn't mean that my friends are comfortable with him. And I think Buck is aware of that. I think he know his place. I know he pick and choose when and who, who to say nigga. Now, some people think that one person give him a pass, they could always give him a pass. That's not true. You gotta have discretion, right? You gotta know when to turn off and off things, right? And your license to do one thing somewhere else doesn't give you license to do something everywhere, right? For example, you got a gun permit. The government in Connecticut doesn't mean you, you can have a gun permit in California or Florida or say if you're a more cop, you security doesn't mean you security everywhere you go. You're not security outside the mall. Do you know what I'm saying? It's the same way with the N word. It's like, okay, you are limited to where you can say this and who you can say this to. People don't get that discretion. So you go around amongst elder black people, or older black people, different black people, and you're not from the culture, you're not from the ethnic group, you're not from the race. You don't know when to turn off. You don't have discretion. You don't, because you think we all like this. You stereotype us in thinking that we we all say the N-word is, and it's susceptible everywhere because you're an outsider. You don't know the meticulous details about this culture for real. You don't know our nuances. You know what I'm saying? Now, I might be cool with Buck, and he's white. Buck's a white boy. And you may have somebody who I don't know, and he's your friend, and he said he get amongst you. But he come around me, he can't say nigga because I don't know him like that. I don't respect him like that. So he can't say nigga around me. Like certain Puerto Ricans can't say nigga um, around me. And it's the thing too. People 
like to indulge in our culture and use our negativity. Like it's a it's a it's a fight right now. Who can say it in the N word? Just like it's a fight for hip hop. Who started who started hip hop? I don't get why everyone everyone wants wants to use the N word. You might get accepted somewhere, but but why do people want to use the N word? Why, why is it so? Why do people fighting to say nigga? Like why Fat Joe feel he can say nigga? It's because your your block let you say nigga. Your block ain't my block. Nigga, your city is not my city. Your town is not my town. So when they bring that ignorance, we think that, okay, I'm cool here. I'm cool anywhere. That caused confrontation. My thing is if people allow you to say it, cool. But this is where the conflict comes in at. When people say, don't say that around me, I get offended. People who are not black American, they feel that since I've been saying that, I could always say it and you ain't going to stop me. See, that's a disrespect. If you're not my culture or my ethnic group and you're saying my racial epithet, you should have enough respect for me, to, 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 for anybody to be like, yo, okay, my fault, I'm wrong. I shouldn't say this. But they will push the issue. I can say nigga, I can say nigga. And that's where the conflict lies. Out of all Latino people, it's the white Latinos that fight for the N-word the most. They feel they have the right more than anybody to say. They say it more than anybody. You know why they feel so attached to it? Because there are white people and white people, no matter what ethnicity they hide behind, are white, superi are white supremacists, they're Karens, they're entitled, they're spoiled, and they gotta have their way. They feel their way is the right way. They would never compromise with somebody when they feel they, they're right. These are white people. We are talking about the N word with white people. They feel because they didn't enslave us and they came from a different country that they have no connection to white people. No, these are European descendants. They are from the European diaspora. Think about it. Think about, think about the fat Joes. Think about the Jennifer Lopez's. These are white people. These are not black people. These are not colored people. These are not Afro Latinos. That Nick, you would never see Afro Latino defending himself or saying this because they could, they could skate by. And most, most people, Feel that if you're brown and you're dark, you're a black anyway. I don't feel that way, but most people. But so it ain't that it ain't the Afro Latinos that's being an attack. It's the white people of the Latin diaspora. These are the blue eyed people, the, the the straight hair people, the people who fucking is pale as fuck. These are the people, the mestizos. These are the people who feel that they can say the n word more than anybody, and they, they these are the ones that say it the most. These are the worst of the Latinos. These are the worst Latino people. They don't care about the people they're offended in feelings because they're white people. They don't care if the words might be oppressive to you because they're white people. They're entitled. White privilege is the unmitigated feel of an entitlement. It don't matter how you feel. It's how I feel. It don't matter if I offend you. I don't mean it that way. Even though what you're saying offends me, these people are the ignorant people of the Latin diaspora. These are the worst Puerto Ricans. These are the worst representations of their culture. No respect for nobody else. These are white people. I'm be thinking your mind. These are white. When you see a Puerto Rican, these are white people. Bad Joe is a white European. Jennifer Lopez is a white European. John Leguizamo is a white European. Disguising as Latino, disguising as as Spanish, whatever that all that shit. Latino is is European. Spanish is European. It's nothing else. It comes from Europeans. These people don't have no respect, and they feel that they own. They they feel they fifty fifty with the N word. See, these ain't Latinos. These are Latinos. They're lying as if they're not. Nigga, these are the Latinos. We're not dealing with Latinos. We're dealing with Latinos. They're lying when they're saying they're not white. They're lying when they say they, they, they grew up like this. This part of their culture saying the N-word. Hip-hop is part of their culture. They 50-50 on hip-hop. These are Latinos. These are not no longer Latinos. And a lot of the reason why we have these white people saying the N-word is because of the white Latino. The white Latino makes the white American and white, everybody else is white feel that like they can say it too. Because look, they figure, oh shit, he, he, he's as white as I am. He's saying it. And... and He's white like me and the blacks are cool with him. So they can say it. We can say it. That's how white people see Latinos because they're a buffer zone. They're the bridge between both. You know what I'm saying? You have the black American, the Afro Latino. So you so you said, so, so, so you have a black American, right? And you have a white American in between that. You have the Latino, you have the, Afro Latino, which kind of could blend with us. Then you have the white Latino that kind of blend with you know the white people. But the white Latino makes you believe that that him and the 
Afro Latino is the same. So when they say nigga, the white people who see the white Latino saying it makes it feel that they can say it too. And this is the watering down. This is the tethering because the, the Afro Latinos blending with us, they confuse them as we the same. But the white Latino know that he's not an American. He's one of mine. So I can use his skin tone, his complexion, his struggle, and his his deprivation because Afro-Latinos are, you know, deprived too. They are oppressed too, more so than a white Latino. So they can use that because they have white privilege and, you know, they whatever they say goes because they feel the entitlement. And that brings the connection. You have the woe Vickies and these other wiggers that, that, that says the N-word, which is very distasteful. Latinos are the only white people who are, who have white denial, right? These white Latinos feel like they not white, right? And being white, they feel that white people, no matter what part of the diaspora they're from, they always feel like they're the victims when they're victimizing somebody else. They always feel like they're take, they're, that something being taken from them, their rights being taken when they're opposing someone else's rights. You know what I'm saying? They feel that you're doing them wrong when you're correcting them. It's the same with Latinos. They feel they have the right to call people niggas. They feel they have the right to disrespect the whole lineage of people. They have the right to make people feel uncomfortable just because it makes them feel good. These are white Latinos. They get to deny being white and be somebody else and have the work and have the, have the audacity to say that they can take from another culture, another ethnicity, use a racial epithet to this people and to anybody else. They want to use it against and still feel that they're being the victims and that we're being petty and we're being discriminatory that we're wrong because they're white. You don't see no black Latinos doing that shit. People with African diaspora in the Americas, they kind of know their place. We kind of, we kind we have, we have more knowledge, like we have more common sense than white people. These white Latinos are fucking Karens. Think about how they behave. First of all, they're very emotional. They're very, very emotional, very irrational, very erratic, and they kind of fucking violent. So you and a, you might have to fuck around and have a fuck a Puerto Rican up. Like you might have to. Fuck a Puerto Rican up, you know what I'm saying? Or get fucked up by a Puerto Rican because they could they gonna stand on it because they're white and they're fucking crazy. They don't know they're white. They don't even acknowledge that they're white. I'm Puerto Rican, but you're white. You got blonde hair, blue eyes, but I'm Puerto Rican. I'm not white. Motherfucker, you got blonde hair and you have straight hair. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm Taino. Taino's is my complexion. What are you talking about? Um, I have African, my my umbrella is, is, I don't give a fuck about your umbrella. Your phenotype is white. You're mostly European. I don't give a fuck about the little sprinkles of black you got in you or African you got in you or nigga, that shit don't matter. That's the minority of your blood. Nigga, your representation, your makeup is white. Your presentation is white. You just in fucking denial. Like Snitch Nine. Snitch Nine is a white, but he was on a fucking radio station telling Black ass Charlemagne that he could say nigga because it's part of his culture. What part of Mexican culture is that nigga? Because you from the you you from Brooklyn, nigga. Brooklyn is not a culture; it's a place. It's separate cultures inside Brooklyn, inside New York. New York is not one monolith culture. You have black culture, you have different cultures in proximity, but that's not one monolith. It's not one forge culture. No, it is not. And we ain't gonna allow people to say that. Black American culture is not one monolith culture. So how the fuck is a Latino or Mexican or African say they part of the, 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 the black culture, black shit is part of their culture. It's not, it, ne it can never be. Y'all confusing what culture really is. You're not other people. You don't have a belief. You don't have our shared experiences. You don't have a religion. You don't have our thoughts. You don't have our, you don't have our mentality. You don't have our nothing. You don't have a DNA. You don't have a lineage. You don't, nothing, nothing makes you part of the culture other than you identifying our culture and mimicking it and copying it and, and participating in it. And no one asked you, no one asked nobody to do this. Keep in mind, black Americans never told people that they should participate in our culture. People just decide upon themselves and, and, and make it their business to, to come in our culture. They could, that's what they do. We don't do that shit. You know why? Cause it's the same shit, but the white Latinos is the same as the white American or the white, anything else, the white European. There are colonizers. They victimize while playing victim. They use reverse psychology. They make it seem that you're wrong when you're being fucking right. These are the white Latinos. These are the people who love saying nigga more than anything they have. Matter of fact, you got Latinos got whole YouTube channels dedicated on black American culture. You have whole, that shit is the weirdest shit. You have whole, it's 50 old bitches, Latinos who have whole, 
The whole content is about the black American. It's about hip hop. You have whole Puerto Rican, white boy, Puerto Ricans, white men, Puerto Ricans talking about black American culture all on YouTube. Dr. Cologne is one of them. This shit is the weirdest shit. They don't know they colonizers. They're in denial about everything they do. No, I'm, I'm, I'm Puerto Rican. And black and we no, no, we don't. It's not a melting pot. Black Americans never, black Americans never been a melting pot. Y'all just decide to, 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 to leech off our shit and cause it's benefit you. It gets you money. It gets you clicks. It gets you clout. It gets you power. Copying black American, doing what black Americans do is the only culture in America that you could copy, tag along to and benefit from. Cause no one else allowed that shit. And that's why they feel that they could attach to our shit. That's cause it makes them, and it makes them feel cool. We are, we are, we are the only culture that can make you make you feel cool with being. What other culture makes you feel cool? What other culture is cool? It's beneficial. It's clout. You feel cool. You can get money from it. You get, you get book deals, movie deals. You get all types of shit. This is for, this is for cosplaying black American because white people in America love the watered down version of black American and Puerto Ricans could be that watered down version. That's why you have them claiming hip hop and shit because they are the watered down digestible part of the culture, which is not really part of a culture, but they're attached to our culture and it's more digestible. It's more presentable to the eye. No one wants to see some, nobody real black on TV and no one wants to give black Americans a credit. That's why you get a Jamaican to take credit for, for our shit. You get, and everyone is willing to take credit for our shit. Everyone is willing to not only participate in pillage, but they're willing to take credit for our shit. This whole podcast is about the, the N word. It should be one people, one group of people talking about the N word, but no, Everyone is fighting for this N word now. Just like fucking hip hop. You know, what's the worst common excuses for people to say the N word, especially like, you know, white people who grew up in an urban area and Puerto Ricans who grew up amongst, you know, black people in some certain places. They whole thing is I grew up like this or all my friends do this. Look, proximity doesn't give you access to everything or, or most things, right? Like, okay, you grew up amongst black people, but, but hyenas and lions share the same habitat. They share the same proximity, but they're the same. A gazelle and a zebra and lions, all that shit share the same habitat, but they ain't the same. Respectfully, they are different, and they respect each other as different cultures. And when certain people cross paths, it could be dangerous. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure some gazelles might get along with some lions, but that's not their norm. And just because you might see somebody or even talk to somebody doesn't mean you have full knowledge and understanding of their history and backgrounds. Growing up with somebody doesn't mean you know somebody fully culture. Like even black people, every individual house inside a neighborhood is a different type of culture, different type of morals, different type of understanding, a different type of discipline. Some parents, some black parents install education and knowledge and, and pride into their children. Some black parents smoke crack. Some black parents ain't shit. Some black fathers just can show love, but they don't have knowledge. Some households are just full of chaos. Some households are, you know, they indulge in other cultures. Some households are, are steadily pride. They take pride, but they ain't extreme. Then you have some people are pro black. You have some people it's different things. And so the nigga with the word nigga means different things to different people. Like just because me and my friends may have a Puerto Rican dude in our group who say nigga, doesn't mean my brother's group of people going to accept that Puerto Rican saying N word. It's just not like that. That's just not how it is. Like one thing that goes for one environment or habitat doesn't apply to all, doesn't apply to all environment and habitats. But like my neighborhood is borderline a Hamden suburb area. Like it's a fence that divide New Haven from Hamden. Across that fence is a whole different culture, but we still in a proximity. We still can say we grew up around each other, but we don't know each other. And if we might see each other, but seeing and talking doesn't explain the full depth and the full history. Blacks and Puerto Ricans wasn't always around each other. We didn't get around each other until, you know what I'm saying, most places, the 70s, like in New York City, maybe the 50s, they was together. But other places, 70s, 80s, 90s, some people still, it's still populations of black people who never seen a Puerto Rican, like Alabama, like um Montgomery, Greensboro, um Raleigh, Charlotte. Like Puerto Ricans are very wide and few. People are not used to it, but our history is not the same. Like Puerto Ricans became sanctioned into the U.S. in 1917. We've been here since 1619. I said this before and prior and beyond. Some of our blood, our African blood got here in 1619. Our native blood been here for who knows how long it been here for. 
So you got people who 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 been sanctioned, who became American citizens in you know 1917, but America been established in 1775, right? Boom. Okay, so the Great Migrations happened. So Puerto Ricans came the Northeast region around the 1950s. That's around the same time Black people came up north. You know, for jobs and better, better economic um, opportunities. They both came for the kind of for the same reasons. So they both are the same proximities. But these people have a different type of background. See, black Americans was, came from the South. They had to deal with actual racism. They had to deal with actual civil rights. They had to deal with actual um, segregation. They had to deal with actual the Civil War. They had to deal with KKK. They had to deal with black laws, segregation. They had to deal with um, vagrant laws. They had to deal with all types of abuses from white people. Puerto Ricans didn't have to deal with that. Puerto Ricans on their own island deal with their own form of discrimination and um, colorisms and racism on the island. Black Puerto Ricans get treated way worse than the actual mestizos and white people we see. They get, they get better opportunity and better privileges. That's why you see more white Latinos here than you see actual dark Afro Latinos. You know what's wrong about the Latinos in the Puerto Rican thing? First, I'm gonna get into the Puerto Rican thing. Then I'm gonna get into the Latino thing. I'm telling you what's wrong about the, about about the Puerto Ricans saying anywhere, right? Because we assume that all Puerto Ricans are mixed and been in the in, in the slave trade. This is where the problem lies. That this is where the trick bag happens. That this is where this is where the confusion lies. That because Puerto Rico has slavery, we assume they're like us, right? It's because Puerto Rican Puerto Rican have slavery doesn't make them all black. It doesn't make them black American. Their slavery was Spaniards, ours was with English. That's the difference in one thing. But all Puerto Ricans didn't descend from slaves. Some of them descend from slave masters. A lot of them are white, are pure white. And just because someone was involved with slavery doesn't make the whole region black. It doesn't give them all black past. You have black Latinos, Afro Latinos, and you have regular white Latinos or mestizos. The problem lies is the white Latinos trying to generalize Puerto Rico as is one race and it's not a race. Puerto Rico is a is a is an island with different ethnicities. You have some native, you have African, you have some mixed, and you have white. What we see is the J Lo's, what we see is the white Latinos, like the fat Joes. These are white Latinos. So this is the trick. So instead of saying I'm white, they're saying I'm Puerto Rican or I'm Latino. Then them saying that means that, that they get the same right as the dark Latinos to use derogatory things. So they could use the black Latinos to say the N word, even though their black Latinos are not black Americans because we're different from them and they don't have the right to say the N word either because they're not us either. But people are stupid, don't do the research, they don't think a lot. They see black and they think everyone can say the N word. Like, like Africa didn't have slavery. So why are Africans allowed to say, you know, the N word? like Americans when Africa sold us, but back to the Puerto Rican. So Puerto Ricans say that yo, I'm Puerto Rican, I'm Puerto Rican, like as if they ain't white. But if you read the paperwork, it shows that they're a white in the U S census. They're a white, even on a country, they have white privilege in a country. They're not, they're minorities in America, but they're not minorities on the island in the country. They're the majority, but they come here. It sort of all of a sudden they get to be this ethnic group. One mind you live group, which means I'm Indian, I'm Taino, and I'm African. No, you're not. You're white. Your phenotype is white. So you're white passing. You don't get to say the N-word because your island have black people. Your country have dark people. That's how we get tricked. Now, since we let Latinos say, we let Puerto Ricans say the N-word, now all the islands feel that they can say it because the, the Puerto Ricans say it. The United Cubans can say it. Now the Argentinas can say it. Now the... Everyone who speaks Spanish feel that they're not white. They're a different ethnic group, even though they're ethnically white. Even though they have blonde hair, blue eyes, they feel that they're not white and they can use the black past. No, that's not how it works. Phenotypes is your race. If you look white, blonde hair, that's what you are. You should be treated as such. And you get treated as such. If you, the whiter your skin are in America, you have blonde hair, blue eyes. The more you accept it in society, the more you can assimilate. The dark you are, the less you get. And that's in all countries, including the Latin countries. So that's the trick bag with Latinos saying, oh, 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 I'm not white, I'm Latino. No, you're still fucking white, you're just a white Latino. Latin means white, it's a Latin, it's an Italian word. Romans, that was those are Europeans. That's not some African shit. Latin, Latino's not some African shit. That's no, that's no, that's no black American shit. And even if it is African, it's still not black American. 
The N-word is a black American terminology. It's not a universal African diaspora, pan-African word. It's exclusively for and by black Americans. A, 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 a Afro-Latino didn't make that word up. They didn't say even the vocabulary. They say Negro or Negro, well, however they say it. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like me, right? My great-grandparent was Chinese and Jamaican. I can go around saying derogatory Chinese words. I can't say nothing derogatory but Chinese. I don't get Chinese benefits. I don't get I don't get money from China. I don't get I don't get a, a, a citizenship from China because of my phenotype. That's like that's like that's like that's like me claiming Chinese. And you can't mean I'm black as fuck. I'm, I'm not black, I'm Chinese. Nigga, I, I'm looking at you. It don't matter what your DNA say, it don't matter what your your, your your ancestor was. Your phenotype is your race, and that's how you're gonna be carried and treated. It's the same with Latinos. These are blind hair, blue eye, light, white skinned Latinos saying they brown, they're not brown, they're white. And they get that's what I'm saying. That's the that's the trickery of it. We're ignorant and we're not doing the research. We're not letting our our eyes and our minds is not connecting. We see these white people, but we ain't doing the knowledge. These people are using a country as if it's a, it's a black past. They're using um, colonialism as if it's a black past. They're using the transatlantic slavery as if they have right to our shit, our, our, our words. It's not their culture. Saying, saying, saying nigga is not their culture. Hip hop is not their culture. It's adapted culture. America is not their culture. It's their adapted culture. They're not Americans. No matter how long Puerto Ricans been here since 1917, America been here since the colonies, since 1619, since 1775, and beyond that. They're not Americans. They will always be immigrants. Even though they have citizenship, they're still immigrants. They're still not like us. You know what I'm saying? That's the confusion. People think because they got citizenship, that makes them American. That's like... Somebody white going to Europe and saying, my nigga, even it just because you have black people in America and you in proximity of black people doesn't make you black. You're still white. Now you in Europe, you're a different, you imagine a different ethnic group. And you could say it because you grew up with these people or you know these people or you're from the same country. Same with Puerto Rico. You have white people using the black people for the N word password and it's not what it's supposed to be. That's not, that's not conducive or conductive or productive to what is used for and how it's used. Even Afro Latinos are not like us and they can't say the N word either. Even though they do, they're not supposed to. And everyone don't agree that they could or they don't. It goes either way. But for the most part, just because you have black in you doesn't give you the right to say the N word. Cause your black ain't my type of black. Your black isn't, isn't, isn't the brand of black that created this. Your black isn't this black culture. You might be some African Nigerian, some tribal shit. Down make these I'm black American. I don't have no ties to no tribal shit. I can't claim no tribe. Just like you can't claim black American culture. It goes both ways. We not bonded by skin color. Even though white supremacy, even though white supremacy sees all the same, we don't give a fuck what they see and how they understand and, and what they incorporate. They're stupid. We're not the same. We're not brothers. We're not related. We, we, we don't have the same experiences. Y'all are different from us. We're different from y'all. And we don't be, and doesn't mean we have to disrespect you. Doesn't mean you're an enemy, but you're not a friend. You're not an ally. You can't just take from us just because just because you think your skin gave you a pass. You can't have a white mom and African fucking father and think that you're a black American. You can't have a white mom or whatever and have a, a Caribbean father or vice versa, a, a, a Caribbean mother and a white dad and think that you're a black American. No, you're not a black American. Not one, not one, no one drop in you is black American. You don't have the right to have our culture. You don't have the right to. To, to mimic our culture. You, you, don't, you don't have the right to even, even accept or put, even mimic American culture. Let, let alone black, black American culture. You're not even American. You know what I'm saying? That's what we have to stop too. We have to stop letting people be American. Nah, you're not American. Don't pretend to be American. You're not American. Be your culture. Because the minute you adopt our shit, yours die. The minute you become us, you stop existing. It's more important than this gatekeeping. Us gatekeeping ours is helping you gatekeep yours. Us gatekeeping our culture and making our culture strong, it forces you to make your own culture strong. It forces you to contribute to your own people. You know what I'm saying? People don't get that part. People just get that, oh, I want to say anywhere I grew up like that. That, that shit is goofy. You want to go for how you grew up, where you grew up. That don't, that don't give you a right. That don't give you access to nothing. That don't give you no privileges because you grew up somewhere or you know somebody. But let me get back to the Puerto Ricans before I get sidetracked. They treat... Afro Latinos like shit. Don't let them cheat, tell you no different. It's YouTube channels, it's people. They will tell you the native, like 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 the, the the real Tainos, like the people who have actual you know Taino blood and the African people. They get treated way worse than the actual European descended Spaniard 
mestizo, Latino. So they come with their own prejudices amongst us. That's why the first generation didn't like us. That's why we didn't mix uh, uh, up until the late 70s when hip hop came. When the kids who grew up from the 50s actually the first generation Puerto Ricans came here, they got kind of kind of cool. And not all of them, some of them. And as generations came, they got cooler. But that still don't give them access to know black Americans fully. Fat Joe can't tell you what a black American is. Fat Joe can't tell you how it is to be a, a, a black American. A Latino can't tell you what it is to be a black American or how it feels. Or they, they, they don't they don't think like us. They don't they don't walk like us. They don't have the same rhythm. They don't have the same heartbeat, the same blood, the same DNA, the same experience. For them to say that just because I grew up with these people, that makes me like them. No, you're not like us at all. At all. We have similarities, but similarities are not the same. People confuse similarities for the same. People confuse proximity for the same. Those things are not the same. Nigga, just because I got a gun, that'll make me a cowboy. Just because I got I got I got, I got, I got some holes, that'll make me a pimp. Just because I, I get I get sex doesn't make me a porn star. You know what I'm saying? It's depths and layers of things that people from the outside can only get but so deep. Like, Drake can only be black, but so deep. That's why Drake can only do surface-level rap. He can't get into real ethnic rap. He can't tell you about his experience, about the oppression, about the hood, about things that real, like, like history, things his parents told him, things his grandparents told him about being from the South, because he can't relate to that. You know what I'm saying? People think the, the most shallowest surface-level things give them right to everything, and that's just wrong. If I grew up in the proximity of a hospital, that don't make me a doctor. If nigga, I grew up in proximity of crackheads, that don't make me a smoker. You know what I'm saying? And some people grew up amongst killers, that don't make them violent. Proximity doesn't mean nothing. To be part of something, you have to be of something. Like the fully, I can't tell you what it is to be a Latino or be a white man. I can't, that shit never crossed my mind until right now. I never even thought about being a Latino. I never even thought about being somebody white. That never crossed my mind because that's not in my, that's not in my program. That's not in me to do. Or I see, I see life through the lens of a black American man. I see life through the lens of a man who has parents who grew up during a crack epidemic. I have the experience of, of my grandparents being in Vietnam. I have the experience of my grand, great grandparents coming from segregation and Jim Crow. I have the, I have the lineage and the DNA and the trauma from slavery still. So the etymology of the word nigga is very derogatory. We made it positive. Just because we did something doesn't mean everybody can share that thing that we have in common. Like my, like my mom might call me a certain name. My mom called me Junior, right? But I go outside, people don't call me Junior. They call me a different name. Because when, and when they call me the same thing my mom calls me, it's offensive to me. I will get offended. I will feel some type of way because that's not for everybody. What's in my house ain't for everybody. Inside jokes ain't for everybody. That's why it's an inside joke. The problem comes in when people think they know you, then they can call you what your mom's call you. My little cousin Nugget, right? My Tanya son. One time he, he called me about my, like, about my real name. We was, we, was, we, was, we, was in the, um, we was in the chat. He called me by my real name. Now, my uncles don't call me by my real name. My dad don't call me by my real name. My mom don't call me by my real name. No one calls me by my real name. Every person has a name for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, my uncle's got a name for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, my friends got a name for me. Women have a name for me. People I don't know have a name for me. So, when someone called me something my mom called me or something my, 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 my mom doesn't even call me, if I check you, I'm like, yo, don't call me that. And he, he was like, I don't care. What's that's, that's your name. Now, it's true. It is my name. But I take it as disrespect. And you don't know me like that. Like, even though he's he's, he's, he's my aunt's son, I didn't grow up with him. He I, I didn't... Get contact to him till he was about 19. Do you know what I'm saying? He's 23 now. But it's still family, still in love, but it's a respect thing. If I tell you don't call me something and you assist to calling me something, now I have the right to take you to where I want to take you to. Now I'm offended. Now I'm on your neck. Now can't nobody stop me from doing this. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I warned you. It's the same thing. If someone say don't call me the N-word and you assist to doing it, nigga, you been warned. So when someone take it to a level that 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 you wouldn't expect them to take it to, you can't fuck them because you have been warned. What gives you the right to call me something I don't want to be called? What gives you the right to call me something that you have no right even saying in the first place? We see Puerto Ricans and other people as white. I see everyone as white. I see Africans as white. I see Indians as white. I see Asians as white. Everyone who's not black American is white to me in my mind. Y'all have all privileges and opportunities that we will never get. Y'all will y'all all see us as different. Y'all all have your prejudice against us. Y'all all use stereotypes against us. So I don't say black, white, you know. I say we are black and everyone else is just white to me in my mind. And I don't care. I don't care about your skin color. Because your mentality is white. Y'all, y'all, 
a lot of most people take on white ideologies and stereotypes that's negative towards my people. Like white people, you know what I'm saying? Like if you're not white to white people, it don't matter if you're black, Indian, Asian, Chinese, you're not white. So you you're different. You that's how I see other people. If you're not black American, then you're some other shit. And I don't I don't care. I don't care because you know what I'm saying, because nigga, you're not you're not like my people. That's how I see the world. It might be prejudice, whatever. It ain't wrong. Cause you're not my people. You, you, you're, you're not like me. You're not like us. You don't want, you don't want the best for me. You don't care about me. You don't care about my group because if you did care about my group, you wouldn't even be in America because you're only in America to take from and intercept what's for black Americans. Anyway, it would get technical. Every Latino in, is here to take jobs and opportunities and intercept from the black American. They are here to misdirect resources and political clout. All of them. Asians too. They're not here just because white people want them here. No, they're here to dilute and distract us. The minority. That's a distraction. There's no fucking minorities. They ain't, they ain't Americans. Um, you know, the um people of color. Ain't no people of color. They're not fucking Americans. They ain't supposed to be here. Even them voting and having rights. Why should they vote? They ain't help build this country. They, they have their own countries. These people are not American. None of them. None of them. None of them, if they have a different flag to come up, none of them are Americans. They shouldn't have no power, no clout, no status in America. They are here to help white people keep us down. They are here to distract. They're here to protect the white higher class. They are a buffer zone. They are a front line. They are the main, they're the first obstacle we got to get through before we get to the actual problem, which is the white supremacy. You know what I'm saying? That's why I see them differently. They all here willingly to intercept for their benefit at our detriment. All of them. There's not one immigrant. There's not one foreign language speaking person who is, who is not here for their own benefit at the detriment of black Americans. Not one of them because they all share the same privileges and they all benefit off me. They all use me. They're all culture virtual of my culture. So they all the same to me. So when you, someone who's not black American saying some, something derogatory or saying something like the word nigga, sometimes it might be offensive, but sometimes it's like, and your tone is different. Like you, if you were mad, are you saying like, we can be cool and you'd be like, okay, nigga, whatever, whatever, whatever. But if you mad, you saying certain tone, that same word that I allowed you to say is now offensive. Now it's like, hold on. I'm like how you said that shit. See what I'm saying? Now all my prejudices and hate for people who use that word comes up because I let you say one thing, but you ain't keep it in the context. I allowed you to say it. Even if you could say N word, the, 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 the word nigga doesn't mean you could say it in all contexts. You're, you're only licensed to say this word in one context. And that's in a friendly, endearing context. But if you say in a hostile context, it means a different thing. And I'm gonna have a different reaction. This is not being talked about. This is not understood. The word nigga isn't for everybody. And that's amongst black people. That's definitely amongst people who are not black American. It means different at different times and different stages. And, and even though our history, it meant different things. So that's why people who are not black Americans shouldn't say it. And people of a certain class of black Americans shouldn't say it. And, and black Americans amongst elders and other types of people shouldn't say it. You can't this. Okay. Okay. We could, we, we all could be black American, but you have some upstanding honorable black elders who you come around who sophisticated and educated. You can't bring the hood vernacular amongst these people. It's not for them. It's a time and a place in a crowd to say this. You can't just say nigga everywhere. Like, see people who shouldn't say is people who sneak saying it. They say it, but they test you. You know, they, they say nigga and they look at you. They testing you. Them niggas should always be checked. If, if they don't say nigga in a house, they shouldn't say it outside. Like even like, let's say a mulatto person. Let's say Drake, for example. Drake mom is white. Drake is not culturally black, even though he's genetically black, but genetics and, and culture are two different things. Drake grew up amongst white people, amongst Jews. When he first started saying the N word, he said it with the hard R. He's not used to it. He should never be allowed to say that. Somebody had to correct him, but it's the thing too. Now the people around Drake allows him to say that. Little Wayne, um, Jay Prince, all these because he's a product. He's getting their money. When you comfortable and cool with people, you you allow them to say that. But what you don't educate them is see, which is cool. It's cool for that crew. But we should always educate people. Okay, you can say it around us, but we go around these people. You can't say it. Like I can't bring Buck to my grand my grandfather. My grandfather will kill Buck. He'll shoot him, and his brothers will shoot him. 
Like my grandparents ain't saying that shit. But but my dad might snap him. And my dad might slap him. Like you letting this white boy say this shit. Or the same to put a Rican up for the Rican state. That's it might it's a different result. It's not a universal feeling. Like everyone don't feel the same about the word nigga. Just like Mexicans in in California, in the South, like in South California. Now Mexicans say nigga, but they ain't supposed to. And that's not a normal thing. A few people do. But hip hop opens the door. It just hits like hip hop is passed out, nigga passed it to everybody. I say hip hop. I dress the culture. I'm from it. Yada, yada, yada. I say every. I'm saying everybody can say it. Same with Africans. Africans don't grow up saying nigga. They didn't come here saying nigga. They ain't grow up knowing they was black. They came here and they had to adopt that. Africans ain't allowed to say nigga. Now they feel Africans are not black in, until they come amongst you know English people, English speaking people. That's when they feel they become black because white people reject them. White people made race. So when you say white people, opposite of white must be black. That's not true. You got brown, you got yellow, you got red, you got all these other people. When you ain't white, you feel that you automatically are accepted and belong amongst black people, but Africans don't belong amongst us. They sold us. Ethiopians identify as white. Moroccans identify as white. Some people get, get white passes, you know what I'm saying? Like Latinos, they identify as white. Puerto Ricans mostly identify as white. And um, on the paperwork, they identify as white. So if they want to say, nigga, okay, let me see your paperwork. What, what is your birth certificate? If, if, you, if you should say it's white, why is you saying the N-word? If your parents don't say this, why is you saying this? Our culture is the only people that embrace everyone. No other culture embraces people like the black American. Our shit is so commercial now. It's so universal. Everyone feel they could, they could attach to it. They could um, do what we do. They can mimic it. They can take from it. They, the styles, the sling, and it's becoming American. So the question is, are we going to gatekeep the word nigga or is it going to become part of American slang? Should no one say it but us or should everyone say it? Because we all individually give individuals passes. And like, say I give a white boy a pass and say the nigga around my point. I give him a nigga a buck. Now, buck go amongst white people. He's saying a nigga word. Now, someone see buck thinks buck cool. Now, buck got his friends saying a nigga word. Like, you, you, buck wouldn't say you shouldn't say that. How could he say you shouldn't say that? Because I'm saying that you shouldn't say that, but you're white. You can't really gatekeep and protect the word. It'd be hypocritical. Like a Puerto Rican can't tell somebody they shouldn't say the N word. That'd be hypocritical. So they'll so they'll go amongst other Puerto Ricans, amongst white people, and say the N word, and they make them think that they could get a pass too. You know what I'm saying? It's like initiation. If I say what up, nigga, okay, you can say what up, nigga, back to me. People are not really aware of what they're saying and how comfortable we get to people. Now, my thing is, I got mixed feeling about who could say nigga, but if I'm for. But this is the rule for me. If you ain't grow up with me, and if you ain't my if you ain't my ethnicity, I don't give a fuck about your race. I don't really go by race. I deal with ethnicity. If you ain't my ethnicity, you're not black. I don't care about Africans. I don't care about Caribbeans. I'm saying y'all not black. And Jamaicans didn't, didn't wasn't saying nigga a generation ago. Their kids are saying it now because their kids become Americanized. But like a generation ago, when I was buying weed from Jamaicans and shit and going to New York, they wasn't saying nigga. They'll say they'll, they'll say like shit like you know, rule boy, um, you know, you. Um, hey man, shit like that. They, they didn't say brother. They'll say brother. They never said nigga like that. Dominicans ain't say nigga like that, but you know, they have kids and they become, people start saying it. Dominicans wasn't even identifying as black. Most people don't identify as black until they come to America. And for them, black means race. For us, black means ethnicity. So it's a miscommunication of who's black. When I say no one is black, black Americans, I, I'm not talking about race. Cause race is not a real thing. Race and people could change races through generations. I'm saying we are black because we made black what it is today. We the only ones that fought for black. We the only ones that made black palatable, popular, and acceptable. No one else. Africans ain't make black acceptable. Caribbeans ain't make black acceptable. Because Caribbeans are proud of their country. They have their flag. I'm Jamaican. They don't say I'm black. I'm saying or oh, the Haitians. They don't, that's not even their language. They say nor or whatever they. Black is not even in the vocabulary. Like Nigerians, black is not, they have their own word for black. You know what I'm saying? But they identify as their tribes and identify as their nations. We identify black. We black before we anything. Before we Americans, we are black. Like before, before we are any neighborhood, we are black. Before, nigga, before we anything, we are black. People are, first of all, they're their nation, right? Then they're their ethnic group. And then when they come here, when they get rejected, then they're black. They go, we black before anything. And the problem with us is we, well, not with us, but the problem with our generation before us, we claim everybody as black. Like our parents and grandparents kind of fucked that generation up. You know, the civil rights movement kind of accepted everybody's black. You from Africa, you black. You from 
you Latino, you're in a struggle, you're black. Um, nigga, you, you're an indigenous person, you're black. If you're a Mexican, you're a nigga, you're black. That's what kind of fucked it up. We, we was too acceptable. The Rainbow Coalition was a bad idea because now we have to deal with the remnants and the residue of that. Now we have to unblack people. We have to um, delineate from other people our own identity because now everyone has a piece of our identity. Everyone has their hand in our identity. Everyone has their hand in our pocket. Everyone has, everyone think, think that we supposed to just let them in and just let them do what we want to do. But we don't go around calling Latinos the spick word. We don't go around calling um, Jews the Chinese people chinks. We don't say racial. Back to the topic, who, who could say nigga? If you was raised amongst us to some degree, you can say nigga amongst dumb, that group of people. We can't say it amongst everybody. And if I can't say your racial epithet, like say if a Latino could say nigga, right? I should be able to say spick. If an Asian want to say nigga, I should be calling him a chink. Gotta put all these cards on the table now. Okay, you see, you got mines upon, okay, I declare war. You say a racial epithet, I say yours. Now I'm not offended, you shouldn't be offended. If you're grant because for one, you're not supposed to be saying this anyway. You're not part of us. Why you feel that you accept it? Because one group of people accept you, we all don't accept you. That don't make, that don't make sense. That don't make sense. Acceptance isn't universal. Black Americans, we are a minority group to a degree. So everybody else, we, we the same. But amongst each other, we are regional. We divided by regions. The West Coast, the East Coast, the Midwest, and the South. Now, amongst every region, like in California, you have Los Angeles, Compton, Inglewood, um, San Diego, Oakland, San Francisco, the Bay Area. Yeah, different people, different regions with, who do different things, different lingo. Different rules apply different places. We all don't have the same rules. We have the same basic rules as we are black and we protect that. This is our culture. We have, we all come from the South. We all share slavery. We all are oppressed by police. But how we do our thing with individuals, it varies. My cousin from, from California, he might be cool with a Mexican. His Mexican might say the N word, but I don't give a fuck. He better not say it to me. Like, am I Puerto Rican or my white homeboy might, might be cool with saying the N word, but he can't, he better not say it to my uncle or my grandfather. He better not say that around my mother. Think what I'm saying? Even if we say, what up, nigga, blah, 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 you still can't say it back to some people because it's not like that. Now, a lot of white women who date black men feel they can say the N word. Rejection. I done slapped a few white women for saying that shit. I don't, I don't, I don't play like that. And I have white people I deal with and I'm cool with. They can't say it, but my boy, my boy, Buck could, and my boy, um, my boy, Joey ghost could, they can say it. Joey ghost was saying this shit. I met Joey when I was 10. Cause my aunt was bad with you. <laughs> I'm going to hate that. She, yeah, your mom's bad with you and shit. So I met Jim through him. And he was the first white boy I ever spoke to in my life. I was 10 years old, like outside of school, but outside of police, um, you know, teachers, social workers, I ain't no white people. When we see white people on TV, he was the first white person I seen in my projects who was like, you know, me and him discussed it, Biggie and Redman and shit. Cause I was a Biggie fan back then. He was like, no, you have to go on Redman method me. I'm like, man, fuck them. They could Biggie this shit. Ready to, they not better than Ready to Die. And I was right. It was not better than Ready to Die. But me and Ghost became, to this day, that's, that's still, um, I still, I still bring bro. I fuck with Joey Ghost still. He can say it, but I had a few altercations with him on Facebook about different things because you know, even though no, no matter how cool somebody why it is, they always, they're always going to reserve. They're always going to double back to some racist shit. No matter how cool you are. That's just in them. They always know, they all know racist jokes. They all know certain shit. It's just, it's just in them. You know what I'm saying? Everyone has, this is America. This is based on racism. So shit comes and goes, you know what I mean? It, it, it it's everything's on an individual basis. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be cool with a Puerto Rican. I don't know to say that nigga, but then again, I could be doing something. Boom, 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 Puerto Rican, you know what I'm saying? It, it could be cool like that, but it varies. But all Puerto Ricans ain't confident in just saying nigga because that could be a fight. That's if, see, this is the thing about people, right? If I, I'm a big nigga, so people kind of scared of me. So people just don't say anything to me. And some people would try me. I'm quick to slap somebody, punch somebody in the face. I'm, I'm, I'm quick on the draw and I look like I will. And I, I, I definitely will. I'm, I'm. You know what I'm saying? If I, if I say, yo, don't say this to me, and you insist on saying it, it's, 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 it's action. And whatever action I decide is going to be. Do you know what I'm saying? Or whatever action you decide is going to be, but it's going to be some action. If I say don't call me at the N-word, and you do it anyway, instant action. Don't 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 be disrespectful. But to answer my boy's question is, my, my boy, I didn't grow up with, 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 with Puerto Ricans saying the N-word until later on in life, until about 14, 17. Then I got kind of used to before then it was a fight on site in juvenile Welly Avenue programs. It, it was a fight on site, but I got cool with my nigga Ro, my nigga Roger from the hill, his niggas from Hector and them niggas from the jungle. 
them Puerto Rican niggas I, I fuck with. Then I got cool with some Puerto Rican niggas, Freddie and them for Fairhaven. They was saying there was just there was just nigging it up. It was just like it was like it was a it was a culture shock. But they didn't mean no harm or disrespect. That's just it just varies. But I lay some rules down. If you say nigga amongst certain people, keep it amongst them certain people. If your parents don't say nigga, don't say nigga. If if you ain't sure that people will accept you saying nigga, don't say it. And if people warn you that, listen, man, respectfully, don't say that to me, you should show respect. If you don't want nobody calling you your racial epithet, don't say it. Because I'm saying this, if someone call you an N-word who is not black American, call them by their racial epithet and see how it go down. If they cool with it, then be cool with it. But if they got a problem with it, they shouldn't be allowed to call you an N-word. And that's my take on things. But yo, go in the comments and tell me how you feel about it. I, know some people, I can say anything I can say. You can say what you want to say. But, but people want to react how they want to react to you. Now you should put respect first. It should always be respect first. That's why I don't get it. Like, people just got a problem with, 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 with they feel that you telling them they can't say the N-word is disrespectful. No, you saying the N-word is disrespectful. Nigga, even amongst black people, saying to other black people is disrespectful. Like, Hebrew, Hebrew Israelites wouldn't want you to say that to them. Um, Muslims wouldn't want, wouldn't want me to call them the N-word. And I have to respect that. Or... I can make call the man shut up, nigga. You know what I'm saying it depends. It varies because some things I can't play with like that. So I'll say use the N word respectfully and use it with some decorum and use it amongst people that's comfortable with you using. To be fair, we can't go around calling people N words and we can't make music and have an N word in it and and expect people to buy our music and not say the N word. It's 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 a conversation that that need to be had. We ain't really have yet. We ain't really decide what's what, who's who. Now, are we going to gatekeep the N-word in the black community? Or are we going to give the N-word to America? Because it seemed like the world done took it anyway. Let me know. It's a bad podcast. The N-word needs to be talked about more often. And, and you know... Because it's not a unanimous word. It's not a. It's not a word that's that's just a universal thing to everybody amongst the Black American diaspora. Not African diaspora. Not Black diaspora. The Black American diaspora. It's not the same. It's only the same to a certain type of people, culture, street, criminal, um, hip, degenerate, and sometimes educated. It just it just varies. But that's my take on on the N word. I mean, and so Jay, yeah, I mean. Maybe you grew up amongst Puerto Ricans saying the N-word or, or using it. I didn't really grow up like that until later on in life, 17, 14, 15, 16, 17, until I got to Whipple Cross High School. Then it was like it was a different world. You know what I'm saying once I see once I see other people interact with Puerto Ricans and it was cool for them to say it, it kind of put my guards down like, okay, yeah, this is kind of normal. It kind of normalized it for me. But if I ain't grow, if I ain't see no examples of that and meet certain people at a certain age. I still would have been hostile and I still have been on site for a Puerto Rican to say that or for a white person to say that or for anybody to say that, even Jamaican, even a, a, a African. I don't like when Africans say, I hate when Africans say it at all. This, a, Africans and, are like white people. They should never be allowed to say it, nigga, because we don't share the same, same experience. And you're not going to come from people who sold me here, not only using my resources, but using my epithets. Nah, I'm not, I'm not for that at all. A Jamaican, okay, you know. Jamaicans are people, even some Bohemians. I, I, I could say some Bohemians, some people from the new, you know, the Virgin Islands. They're kind of American too, but they're not black American, but they're a type of American. And they too been under some type of oppression, colonization and slavery, but ain't the shared content, ain't the shared continental black American experience. It's just different, but they come in like my nigga Harvey father is like a, um, Pandemanian dude. And that's my Harvey, my nigga. Mr. Emerson is my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't see them as no different. Um, Uncle Carl cosplays like he's a Jamaican nigga, but he's still a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'd be on his head for that. But it's just that, you know, everybody black do different things and come from different things. Some things are accepted, some things are not. But no, no things are really discussed. We this is the word nigga is 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 a word that hasn't really been discussed. I have seen as deeply as it need to be discussed. There's no parameters for it. There's no rules for it. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a wild, wild west word. Like anybody get an eye, but it could be dangerous to use. I don't feel Obama could say the N word. For one, he's not Black American. For two, his father from Kenya, and for three, his mom is white. I don't feel Drake to say the N word. For one, his mom is white. For two, he's not an American. For three, he's not from the culture.
even though his father is a black American, but his father can't give him a culture pass. Genes doesn't, genetics doesn't make you part of a culture. Now, J. Cole, I feel different about J. Cole. Cause J. Cole said the N word. I feel J. Cole could say the N word though. His mom's is white, but he has a black father. I feel he know. I feel he is he connected to his father. You know what I'm saying? Puerto Ricans, it varies on the individual. Dominicans, it varies because they don't identify as black anyway. So why should they be allowed to say it? African sodas. Why should we have some camaraderie with them? Black culture. See, people think black culture means black American culture belongs to everybody that's from Africa and the Caribbean is all one culture. Um, Jamaica is part of the whole. No, 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 no. That's not how, that's not what black culture means. We have black culture. You have African culture or you have a Caribbean culture or you have a Jamaican culture or you have an indigenous culture, but that's not black. Black culture is exclusively black Americans. Like black history is exclusively to black Americans. I know this new to some of y'all, but this is just, this is exactly what it is. When I say black, I don't mean a Jamaican. I don't mean a Caribbean. I mean a nigga like me. That's from the emancipation proclamation, the freedmen, the ADOs, the FBA, the, um, you know, the black American, the brand of black that we created worldwide. That's accepted. That's respect. A Nigerian is not respected worldwide. So they could use black to hide their Nigerian. Some, a lot of people pretend to be black Americans who are not black Americans and they fucking our name up. We don't want that to happen either. So nigga, be proud of who you are. Be proud of who we are and keep it separately, but we can be respectful. We can be respectful. It's a time to say the N word. It's a time not to. It's a group of people you say the N word to. So it's a group not to. But I want to advise that to get willy nilly and get hostile about it. I want I want to advise that to argue about can you say it or not. If someone say don't say it. Just don't say it. If you want to get tough, you could get you, you, so you could get harmed. If you ain't prepared to fight or die for it, because people are, are, people done died for the N people people done die. Our, our connection to the N word involves a lot of hostility or racial tension. We flip that around. We made that positive. It's like black. Black was to be negative too. We made that positive. We're not sharing our positivity if we ain't sharing our negativity. That's what y'all don't understand. Y'all think y'all think that y'all can have all our fruit, but y'all ain't help us. Y'all ain't help us plant the seeds. Y'all ain't clear the land. Y'all y- y- didn't y'all didn't pick, pick the trees some stuff. Y'all didn't fertilize. Y'all didn't. You know what I'm saying y'all didn't water these flowers. Y'all ain't water these trees, these plants. Y'all didn't trim the hedges or nothing. Y'all didn't do nothing, but y'all just want to eat the fruit, and that's not how it works.